building today. This is episode two of Wilderness Wednesday. We're going to react to 20 birds you won't believe exist. Before we get started, if you're new, like, share, and subscribe to join the family. But if you've been sticking with me for a while, welcome back. It's good to have you back. I love the new people and the OGs. If you OG, give this video a thumbs up. I have to repeat again, the giveaway is still on. Like, and it's 250 subscribers, and I will be giving away prizes to y'all. Yeah, let's get into it, man. Did you know there's a bird that has a mustache, blue ears, even a rhino horn? And there's plenty more weird stuff where that came from. These are the 20 weirdest birds on the planet. Coming in at number 20 is the sage gross. This animal is becoming a nearly threatened species, and one of the reasons is probably because it itself looks like it is made of over easy eggs. This freaky looking bird can be found in the dry regions of the United States and Canada. Oh no. Number 19. Bruh. Look at this bird. It's just staring at you like this. Bruh, I, I think I've seen this bird before. And when I looked at it for the first time, that bird, like, it was staring into my soul. Like, this bird looks creepy, bro. Known as the shoebill, is definitely one of the most villainous looking birds on the list. <laughs> Its name is derived from, you guessed it, its shoe-shaped bill. But this type of stork is also sometimes referred to as the whale head. This large bird, which can grow to be over four feet in height, is mostly found in Central Africa, and its scientific name is Balianiceps rex. Number 18 on our list looks like a Cheeto puff. This bird is known as the Andean cock of the rock, its odd shapes and colors make it an unbelievable sight, as well as its ever-perfect hairstyle. Hey, baby! This bird can grow to be about 12 inches in length, from head to tail, and is found in many areas around the South American continent. Number 17 is the white peacock. Like some other animal breeds of pure white, the white peacock is not an That's albino, actually, uh, but rather a subspecies of the peafowl, caused by a genetic mutation. Number 16. The Modmont's bird is beautifully colorful and has a unique tail that separates into two racket-like tips. Researchers have come up with many ideas about the reasoning for this type of tail, and one noteworthy observation is that when the Modmont's detects a predator, it often wags its tail to reveal an otherwise hidden bird, in an attempt to detract the predator from itself. It is found primarily in Middle America, and has a wide variety in its diet, including fruits, insects, lizards, and even poison fart dogs. I mean poison dart frogs. Number 15. The blue-footed boobies are instantly recognizable due to their bright blue feet, which usually match their beaks. The blue feet are a sexually selected trait, and the male will perform a mating ritual for the females, which includes lifting their feet up and down before strutting towards them to get to business. The blue-footed boobies are one of the many strange breeds of birds that flourishes in the Galapagos Islands, and can also be found along the coast stretching from California to Peru. Number 14. It's a little obvious where the rhinoceros hornbill gets its name from. This bird can be found in various parts of Asia, and is the national bird of Malaysia. While it is considered holy to some, it still faces many threats, including habitat destruction and poaching for their meat, feathers, or horns. The rhinoceros hornbill can grow to be up to 4 feet in length and live for up to 90 years. Number 13 is a master of camouflage, and can be a little hard to spot. The patu can barely be seen as it stiffens up against a tree's bark during the daytime. These birds are nocturnal, they feed off insects at night, and spend their days flightless and camouflaged. They can grow to be approximately 8 inches in length and have very distinctive features, including their large yellow eyes. There are various species of patus, which live in forests ranging from Mexico to Peru. Number 12. Like the Inca tern is uniquely distinctive from its bright orange beak and feet and large curly mustache. It is a large seabird which can grow to approximately 16 inches in height and is found along the South American coast. Number 11. Wilson's bird of paradise. This bird is easily recognizable by its uncommon curly tail and distinctive colored patterns. The first footage of this bird was captured in 1996 by a filmographer who dropped leaves along the forest floor, which irritated the bird, causing it to come down and pick them up. It is a fairly small bird, which can grow to be up to 8 inches in length, and is found primarily in Indonesia. Number 10. The King of Saxony Bird of Paradise is found mostly in New Guinea. 
The most astonishing thing about this bird is its brow plumes, which are the long, thin, scalloped feathers that extend from its head past its body. To put them in perspective, the bird's body is only about 9 inches in length, while these plumes can reach over 20 inches and can be moved at the bird's will. Its aqua gape, which is the inside of a bird's mouth, is yet another incredible feature about this bird of paradise. Number 9. That was his eyebrows or something? I'm just... She said that she, um, they can move it by themselves, they can like control it. Imagine having eyebrows that come all the way out here. And you can move them just. That's weird. Number 9. The Gouldian Finch has got to be one of the brightest birds on the planet. With some parts looking like they were colored in with highlighters, this bird's tiny body pops with shades of purple, green, blue, yellow, and red. This bird is found primarily in Australia, and is also sometimes referred to as the rainbow finch. Number 8. The great frigate bird is a seabird found along many coastlines. It is a flourishing species in the Galapagos Islands, and can also be found in many other beachlands around the Pacific, Indian, and South Atlantic Oceans. It is a fairly large bird, reaching up to 40 inches in length, and is mostly black in color. One of the most striking features of this bird is the guler sac, which is bright red and inflatable on the male frigate birds. When it is time to mate, the males will fill their sacs with air for long periods of time in attempts to attract a mate. These birds can take up to 10 years before they reach sexual maturity and are seasonally monogamous. Num nah, bro. He fell not doing it with air because he knows it's about to be more than one round. <laughs> Number 7. The mandarin duck, at certain points in its life, can closely resemble the mallard or wood duck, but in adulthood, it develops its beautiful and unmistakable appearance. It has striking patterns and feathers that come in a multitude of bright colors, and is found mostly in East Asia. Number 6. The white vented violet ear is a type of hummingbird that can be found in South America, and prefers to live in the dry forest regions. What makes this bird unique is that it actually has visible ears that are bright purple. Number 5. The Rufus Crested Coquette Hummingbird is found in the tropical and subtropical forests in many countries in South America. Its headdress and color give it a unique appearance that requires a second glance. Number 4. The Long Waddled Umbrella Bird styles its hair in memorial of Elvis Presley. It is found mostly in Colombia and Ecuador, where it is currently facing vulnerability to its species due to habitat destruction. Bro, what is this? I know y'all see that long thing coming down from his chin, his neck, or something, bro. Are, you, are they gonna tell us what that is, bro? It's just, it's sticking all the way down. Like, how does this dude sleep? How does he eat? How does he rest? I don't know, like. It is a fairly large bird, reaching up to 20 inches in length, and one of the few birds with a waddle. The wattle is a long feathered covered piece that protrudes from the male's chest that inflates during the mating season. This bird is usually a shy and silent species, except for the males during mating season. Hey baby! <laughs> what? Number 3. The Andean condor has a wide variety of textures on its build. It is a large, intimidating bird that can grow to be up to 4 feet in length and weigh over 30 pounds. This bird is a national- Yo, why that bird built like that? This dude just sitting on a freaking rock with his body all big. Fuck this dude wearing a big peacoat. Neck all bald, head all bald. <laughs> Look at this dude's face. This dude like got his beak all sticking out. This dude ugly. It's that bird. It's that bird. That is a big bird, no cat, bro. Imagine eating that bird for like Thanksgiving or something. That was like a vulture, bro. I bet you that bird is related to like vulture or something. We'll find out. Bird of a few South American countries. As its name suggests, the Andean condor lives mostly around the Andes Mountains and in Western South America. Number two. While the Southern cassowary is the third largest bird on the planet, it is considered to be the most dangerous to man. This bird is omnivorous what? and enjoys a diet of mostly fruit. Bro, hold up, hold up. Why that bird pop up in the screen like that? That dude says something. Why that dude... <laughs> Bro, why that dude pop up like that? That dude ugly. But can be a fierce defender if provoked. It has maimed and killed people in the past hey. and can run at up to 30 miles per hour. 
The cassowary lives in the rainforest regions of Australia, where it is a very endangered species, with an estimated 1,500 left in the wild. Number 1. These strange birds, known as duster budgies, are actually types of parakeets. For these birds to keep their groomed, mop-like appearance, they are kept domestically and often specially bred. That was that bird off of uh, Rio. Yeah, off of Rio. It was either the first or the second. If y'all enjoyed that informal video about birds, strange birds, like, I mean, it's some weird creatures out there that we don't know about. I mean, we only discovered what? 3% of the ocean? 3%? Like, come on. How long have we been on here? Can't even discover our own planet and we talk about going to Mars and stuff. Okay. But um, that was Wilderness Wednesdays episode dos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Comment down what you want to see next. What other nature videos you want me to react to or do. Because I'm not, I'm not just reacting to nature videos. I'm actually going to go out and do some stuff. If you want to see good content, just comment down below and we out, bro. We out. We out. We out.